Hi, this is Father Paul from the Sunday Mass, and I want to thank you for tuning in today to the Sunday Mass on our YouTube channel. I'd just like to take this opportunity to remind you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for free and become part of our Sunday Mass community of faith. Now let us begin our celebration. Welcome everyone to our celebration of the Sunday Mass and Ministry of the Passionist Community and Happy Easter to all of you. It's nice to be with you, to celebrate with you on this Easter Sunday today. It is April 4th, as I said, Easter Sunday. Our Mass today is a sponsored Mass. The sponsor of our Mass is Ruth Sicanus. Uh, Ruth is a very faithful sponsor and supporter of the Sunday Mass. And today is her birthday, so we want to wish her a happy birthday. She's also asked us to pray for the intention of Debbie Maza in her memory. Debbie died just recently. So I ask you as we journey through this Easter Sunday to remember Ruth and to remember De Debbie in your prayers. Our presider today is Father Michael. So if you have your prayer guide, take it out. Turn to page 61, the beginning of Mass, and let us begin our Easter celebration. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to redeem our loss, In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And Lord, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered sin and death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. 
He commissioned us to preach to the, to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Christ our Paschal Lamb has been sacrificed. Let us then feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. Lord. On that first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there and the cloth that had covered his face, not with the burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In St. Peter's reading today, he says, you are witnesses. So together we are at the tomb and we enter the story. It's been a long week. We reviewed the life of Jesus, we went through Palm Sunday, and like Mary Magdalene, stood at crucifixion to be able to recognize Jesus died. But today, we are witnesses of a resurrection, not just an empty tomb. We rejoice with what Peter said, we are chosen to be witnesses. And like Mary Magdalene, who ran to tell Peter and John, so we have a message for the world today. Jesus 
is risen. Jesus Christ is risen indeed. One way of remembering this is we're familiar with the show The Wizard of Oz, and we know how it works. But there was certain something new about it. When they arrive at Oz, everything's in color. Everything is new. Nobody knew how it would happen or if it would happen or what would happen next. So too with Jesus' resurrection. For us, we enter into the mystery of his life, death, and resurrection, and we claim a new identity, a new identity in Christ. He comes to save us from our sins. And that means no matter what happened in our past or present, no matter whether we're a distant from family or friends, whether we have a virtual prison or a real one, what is necessary that we're no longer walking in the dark, but we've come to the light of Christ. So today we are welcomed, welcome to celebrate as a community of faith. We are united with family and friends, with people coming into the church. We rejoice because he has conquered sin and death and invites us to be our very best self. So let us continue to join in with people all around the world as they proclaim, yes, I believe. And to be able to recognize once again that one of the most important things in our life is that God saves us, that God gives us a new beginning, a new opportunity, and calls us his own. We wish each of you not only a happy Easter, a happy life, and to be able to recognize the love of God each day, every day, forever. And let's share on this Easter Sunday what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad by placing our needs and our intentions before our loving God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the church that on this Easter day, we will, in St. Paul's words, seek what is above and celebrate this feast with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for the sponsor of our Mass today, Ruth Socanus, and wish her a very happy birthday. And remember her special intention for this Mass, Debbie Mazza, who recently passed away. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of our benefactors and the intentions of our Sunday Mass faith community that will be placed next to the altar and for Betty Lesko 
and James E. Rokicki, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Easter joy, we offer you our prayers, those spoken, those that will be placed next to our altar, and those you have found in our hearts through Christ the risen Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exulting with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to claim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he's, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Nicholas our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Paul of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace and love be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, 
his mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The Lord's right hand has struck with power. The Lord's right hand is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 And thanks to all of you for joining us today for our celebration of the Sunday Mass. And once again, a very happy Easter to all of you. I want to send a special thanks to Ruth Zacchaeus, our sponsor today. And who, it is also her birthday. So, Ruth, a very happy birthday to you. May it be a blessed, holy, and happy day. And please be assured we will remember your special intention, Debbie Maza, in our prayers. Uh, we know it must be a loss for you, being that she ju died just recently. But we will continue to hold her in our prayers. Uh, please uh, continue to send in your prayers and petitions. And I also would like to thank Father Michael and Michael and Preston and Renald and Wendell for leading us in prayer today. So have a great Easter Sunday. Have a great Easter week. And until we meet again next Sunday, may the passion of Jesus Christ be always in your heart. Jesus is risen, let us sing praise to the ever-living King. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise him in song, ye seraphim. Praise him with joy, ye cherubim. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.